the huge penalty handed down to Chase Briscoe and the number 14 Stuart Haas Racing Squad has shocked the NASCAR world. What happens now? Does Briscoe no longer have a shot at the championship? And what's the present state of the team? Join us on NASCAR Zone today as we look into the details of one of the sport's most severe punishments, which was caused by the discovery of a counterfeit part on Briscoe's vehicle above that what has the team decide about whether or not to appeal the penalty? But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. NASCAR gave Stuart Haas Racing one of its harshest penalties to date, which sent shockwaves through the racing world. After a thorough review of the most recent race at Charlotte Motor Speedway, the governing body found a fake part hidden in Chase Briscoe's car's underwing. So, NASCAR moved quickly to take a number of harsh steps, leaving no room for leniency. Stuart Haas Racing is at the center of controversy because of this mistake, which has had a lot of negative effects on the team. NASCAR took away 120 regular season points from Briscoe and the team and then took away another 25 playoff points to make things even worse. These penalties hurt the team's ability to compete, which hurts their chances of winning the title. To make things even worse, crew boss John Klaus Meyer was given a six-race suspension, which left the team without a leader or strategic planner. But that wasn't the end of the sentence. NASCAR also gave Klaus Meyer a huge fine of $250,000, which usually goes to the team, but in this case, also goes to Klaus Meyer. These fines are a strong deterrent because they remind teams of the serious consequences that come with violations of this size. This event happened because NASCAR introduced the next-gen car in 2022. This was a revolutionary change that changed the way stock car racing was done. With this new version, teams had to buy most of their parts and components from a specific vendor. This was done to make sure that all rivals had mostly the same equipment. In line with this mindset, NASCAR has vowed to punish any unauthorized changes with harsh penalties, aiming for fairness and honesty in the sport. During the fatal race at Charlotte, Chase Briscoe came in 20th, which was not great. He didn't know it, but his car would get a lot of attention when NASCAR chose it to check out at their research and development center. After each race, the governing body usually chooses a couple of cars to carefully take apart. This lets them see if any rules were broken or if there were any technical problems. Greg Zipidelli, Stuart Haas Racing's chief competition officer, said the team was sorry and admitted it had made a mistake in answer to NASCAR's harsh punishments. Zipidelli said in a statement that their quality control processes had made a big mistake and that they would not be appealing NASCAR's decision. The team's admission of fault and cooperation shows that they understand how bad their actions were and want to make things right. NASCAR's senior vice president of competition, Elton Sawyer, shed more light on the situation. The post-race inspection here at the R&D Center, uh, we found the number 14 car to have an engine panel NACA duct not to compliance within the rule book. It's a counterfeit part, um, and that is an L3 penalty. Um, that, uh, you know, we have uh, assessed to the team. So if you look at a NACA duct, basically you'll see them in the side windows. This particular one was in the engine panel and basically it lets, in, uh, lets air flow uh, from the bottom of the car up through the NACA duct to help the cooling process. Um, as we were developing the next-gen next gen car uh, early on in the process, uh, if you remember, uh, we cut a hole in the windshield to allow air to get into the driver's compartment. Uh, NACA duct was put into the engine panel as well as slots cut in the, the rear glass to help uh, airflow and cooling of the next-gen car. Um, this is a severe penalty. We, we don't take these lightly. Uh, we did a lot of investigation, a lot of work, scanning the parts to make sure um, what we thought was correct. And after all that, uh, that work that was done behind the scenes, uh, again, the, uh, it rose to a level to be an L3 penalty. Well, as we just said, don't don't mess with the single source parts. Um, you basically put them on your car. Go out and work on the things that's going to give you those performance um, gains that you're looking for. Good pit stops, you know, good strategy, good hard racing. But working in areas like again, what we used to do with the Gen Six car is just not going to be acceptable uh, with this car. And as we move forward 
uh, with this race season and, and moving on into 2024. That's just not going to be uh, the culture uh, that we're going to be um, allowing. What are your thoughts on Elton Sawyer's comments and recent NASCAR penalties? Let us know in the comments section below and be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. Chase Briscoe and John Klossmeyer, the driver and crew chief duo for which they are responsible, have a challenging six weeks ahead of them as a result of receiving one of the harshest punishments in the history of NASCAR. In the wake of the Coca-Cola 600, drivers have been given fines, and now it appears that officials are on a mission to apply and enforce the stock car racing rulebook on both the drivers and the teams that they compete for. As a result of this, Chase Briscoe and the rest of the number 14 crew have been given one of the most severe punishments that NASCAR has to offer. John Klossmeyer, who is Chase Briscoe's crew chief, is going to have to shoulder most of the responsibility for this breach. Before Briscoe joined the team, the UMBC graduate with a degree in mechanical engineering had worked with Eric Almirola. Last season, the driver and crew chief won their first race together at Phoenix Raceway. It was also Briscoe's first win in the sport. Talking about penalties, NASCAR introduced a brand new penalty structure with three tiers prior to the start of the 2022 season. The first level, or O1, is the beginner's level. It involves a reduction in points anywhere from 20 to 75, a reduction in playoff points anywhere from 1 to 10 points, the suspension of one crew member for anywhere from 1 to 3 races, and fines ranging anywhere from $25,000 to $100,000. At the L2 level, penalties include point deductions ranging from $75,000 to $120,000, reductions in playoff points ranging from 10 to 25, the suspension of one or two crew members for four to six races, and fines ranging from $100,000 to $250,000. The L3 level is reserved for the most serious offenses that have been committed. There is a possibility of receiving one of the following potential penalties, a loss of between 120 and 180 points, a loss of between 25 and 50 playoff points, the suspension of one or two crew members for a total of six races, and a fine that falls anywhere between $250,000 and $500,000. If a team is found to have committed many high-level offenses, the team may be suspended for one race. Additionally, the possibility of losing postseason eligibility comes with the L3 ranking. Briscoe was the first driver to fall below the cut line for the playoffs prior to the inspection of the breakdown, and there were still 12 races left in the regular season. He led the Hendrick Motorsports driver Alex Bowman by only four points at that moment. With 172 points, Briscoe is now ranked 31st in the standings for the regular season. He is currently 124 points behind the current cutoff, which forces him into a predicament in which he must win. There won't be enough time for him to make up for this lost round. Even if Briscoe is able to make the playoffs by winning one race and gaining five playoff points, he will start the first round at a significant disadvantage, even in that scenario. In spite of the fact that the points would be reset to a minimum of 2,000, he will only have 1,980 after the penalty. Due to the new rules, Stuart Haas Racing has been given a total of two penalties at this point. The inaugural event took place in October 2022 following a competition held at Talladega Super Speedway. During a breakdown inspection at the NASCAR R&D Center, the car driven by Kevin Harvick, number four, was examined, and it was discovered that the team had modified a single source item. As a consequence, an L2 penalty was assessed. Stuart Haas Racing dropped both the driver and the owner rankings by 100 points. Because Harvick was already out of the playoffs at that point, he did not miss out on any opportunities to earn playoff points. Crew Chief Rodney Childers was given a fine of $100,000 in addition to a four-race suspension, which kept him out of action until the season finale at Phoenix Raceway. The incident is a stark warning that even the smallest break of the rules will have quick and clear consequences. NASCAR is still committed to keeping the sports rules honest. By giving these teams and drivers such harsh punishments, the governing body sends a clear message that open competition will not be messed with. That's all for today. 
Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.